Hello world, if you're watching this, I'm taking, took, or possibly failed the hardest exam of my life, which would be advanced mathematics, which combines calc 1, calc 2, and calc 3 in one semester. Need I say more? As I'm filming this right now, my exam is about to happen. Just kidding. It's going to happen in exactly four hours and 32 minutes. And wow. The bell sound makes it a lot more climactic, but thankfully not the bell for my school, which would indicate that the exam is about to start. But let's just wait patiently for this bell to finish. Almost there. Anyways, back to what I was saying. I am filming this because it's almost like a coping mechanism for my test anxiety right now because last night I literally could not sleep. Like I told myself I'm going to bed early and I did actually go to bed fairly early. I went to bed at like 10 p.m. but then I look at the clock like later that night and it's like 12 and I'm just kind of like bro why did I even go to sleep early in the first place if I wasn't actually going to sleep? I could have used this time to study. But anyways, I think it was really that like nervousness and also the fact that I'm going home soon and just like my mind was like all over the place. And so now I'm just making this video because I'm again in that kind of like nervous, anxious state of taking an extremely difficult exam because for anyone that might not know, math is extremely hard as it is. And when you combine calculus one, two, and three into one semester, into one exam, it's freaking hard. Like, multivariable calculus especially wasn't something that I had learned in high school. So that has made this second half of the semester even harder because the first half of the semester we were learning like, like the derivatives, differentials, stuff like that, integration, all of which I had like learned before all in like one variable and so this multivariable thing has been hard for me to adjust to on top of the fact that the subject is really difficult as it is and so I guess I'm just trying to use this time to process my thoughts and I physically cannot fit any more math in my brain right now because so the day before yesterday I got really sick um with like acute I don't even know how to say it but something wrong with my stomach because I ate something bad like basically food poisoning and so I wasn't really able to study but yesterday I spent the entire day studying that obviously not without breaks because I don't think it's humanly possible to study 24 hours without a break at least I'm not possible I'm not capable of doing that but I did that I studied the entire day and now I'm it's um 201 p.m right now and I am not wanting to study anymore and I feel like my brain is about to explode but yeah I don't feel prepared at all and I just want to go to sleep because I didn't get a good rest last night last night so I don't really know what to do so I'm just making this video because I feel like making this video and talking through my thoughts is better than just sitting there staring at the ceiling which is probably what I'm going to be doing after I make this video but that's not going to be possible because I need to film edit and upload this video in time so that it's exactly when I'm taking that test when I'm going into the test and I'm starting my first math problem you viewers who are my real, real true viewers who are watching this immediately after I post it will be watching it as I'm taking the math exam which is great and so while you're watching me talk about how anxious I am about this coming math exam I'm going to be taking that said math exam if future me if you're deciding to come back and watch this after you take the math exam. I hope that it went well, or at least I hope that you passed or you feel like you could at least do the first couple of questions that are meant to not be the deal breakers, I guess, because for our exams, how it works is like the first six, because there's like usually eight questions total, at least that's how it was for midterms. And so the first six questions are just calculation based primarily. And so assuming that you did your studying, ideally you would be able to solve all of them. So that guarantees you like a 60 or 70% on the exam, assuming that you didn't make any mistakes on those calculations. And then the last two, which is worth about 30 points typically, are proof questions. I feel like even our... 
I'm sorry someone was calling, but what I was saying was even our professor said that like for those last two problems, it's kind of based on how you're feeling that day. If you're having like a good, like yes, I'm a math genius kind of day, then you might be able to somehow come up with the answer. But if you're not having one of those days, then you're just gonna spend that last 30 minutes staring at a blank paper for however long you have left. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be me because I'm not a math genius and I accept that. But I'm just really hoping that I can do the calculation questions. And really I should be studying right now, but I just can't do it anymore. Like, you know, like when you've studied so much that your brain feels like it's going to explode. And also because my test is in a couple of hours, so I feel like I shouldn't overload my brain too much. So again, just a coping mechanism. And future me, if you're watching this, again, regardless of whether you feel like you passed or not, I'm proud of you for trying. And someone else is calling on WeChat. Wow. Okay. Well, I think I'm just going to end this video here. And yes, anybody else who might be having test anxiety or whatever, or is just nervous about whatever that's coming up, you can do it. You're going to do great. Life is good. And let's bring on 2025 with a smile and positive energy.